Doobie, do you mind? You're knocking my stuff down. Come on, I'm trying to make a video. Doobie! Come on! I'm trying to make a video. What are you doing with that stupid turtleneck on? Jesus Christ. Nobody's gonna take you serious with a turtleneck. Come on, go away. Don't make me. Come on! I'm gonna get cat fur in my guns. Welcome back to the channel, Hosers. It's New Year's Eve 2020, and I'm just gonna end the year with a video. Uh, so far, this year's been pretty crappy for everyone, and it, it'll be nice to have this finally come to an end. Um, I just wanna say thank you to everyone. I started this channel back in April, and just looking at the stats today on YouTube, I'm at 294 subscribers, and I think we're approaching or just past 64,000 views which is really, really flattering considering, um, you know, I started out with zero and uh, in, you know, eight, eight short months to get 60,000 views. Um, I mean, 57,000 of those were probably me just rewatching them all, but nevertheless, we're at 64,000, almost 300 followers. So thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope everyone's keeping safe and uh, let's dive on in. So what I did was I wanted to do a comparison between my two Glocks to see which one shoots faster. I've been noticing that with some of my guns I can shoot them quicker and I just wanted to actually put a timer and shoot a gong and, and see you know how fast I can get back on target and and hit the target uh, you know consistently. So what I did was, uh, I'll roll some footage in, but uh, just to give you an idea of my methodology here, what I did was, um, I started out with strings of hitting, you know, 10, 10 for 10. Uh, at 12 meters, 10 shots at an 8 inch gong, and I felt like I could go faster. So what I tried to do was, I sped it up to the point where, you know, I was having one or two misses. Uh, if I had three or four, I would eliminate it. If it was a really good time with three misses, I would keep it. If it was a good time with four misses, I would eliminate that from my numbers. Um, I felt that, you know, going fast with three misses, and they weren't, let's be honest, they weren't misses by far. They were just, uh, I, I could actually see the dirt. I was actually pulling to the left on, I'm a right-handed shooter, on all of my misses. You could see the dirt kicking up. And again, that's just rushing. I, I believe in the old adage that um, if you're if you're getting all alphas, you're going too slow. Uh, basically, the idea is that if if you're consistently in in competition shooting alphas, then you are going a little bit too slow because you should be able to speed it up, improve on your time uh, at the sacrifice of a little bit of accuracy. So I I don't know if that's I mean I don't compete well enough to know if that's true, uh, but you know that's something that some of the the competitors have told me that it's better to to go a little bit faster with a you know with a Charlie or a Delta and and get the speed rather than go slow and get the alpha. So so that's my methodology. Ten shots. I was doing one mag at a time, uh, all starting from the low ready, the exact same position, just down low ready. Um, I didn't creep, so the timer goes off and then I I react. There was no creep where I'm trying to anticipate. And um, so I'll let I'll let some of the f video footage do the talking here, and I'll just let you know that the average I had on the 17 was 6.25 seconds for 10 rounds, and the average for the 19 was 6.32. So we're talking you know seven hundredths of a second, and even further, my fastest string, which I'll roll in now with the 17 was 5.47 and with the 19 it was 5.48 so we're talking one hundredth of a second separating these two um, so you know not much difference they both shoot incredibly well I mean the frames are the same the slide is a little bit shorter on this one but they both shoot really well and they shoot really fast I, I have another video showing the comparison with a true race gun in my tactical sport orange so I'll, I'll I, I won't tease that any further. I'll just wait till the video's up and you can see the difference with how fast I could shoot that one. Um, but the other thing I wanted to point out was that for the Glock, 
what I did was I restored it to the factory stock configuration. So as many of you know, I usually run my Dawson Precision Magwell and my RMR. Uh, I thought for this test I would keep all things being equal aside from the aftermarket front sight. I took the RMR off and I took the Magwell off. Um, I did have a medium sized back strap on this one. This one I'm running the medium but with the beaver tail. I don't think that's going to make any difference. Uh, truth be told, I couldn't find the one with the beaver tail so I just went with this regular. But they're both the medium back strap and the times were almost uh, identical. The problem I had was having with this Dawson Precision Magwell has been solved. Um, I mean, I, I kind of knew what the problem was, but this black piece of plastic sits inside the Magwell. And the idea is that the mag goes in. Well, on with the, with the provided Magwell that it comes with, it's angled and seated. It seats enough in the angle that it will go in perfectly. However, with every other magwell, including the factory OEM magwells without any base plates, what's happening is it's rubbing on the left and right. So uh, I'm gonna have to sand this down or just run the magwell without the plastic insert. Although if you run it without the plastic insert, it kind of defeats the purpose because there's, there's nothing funneling it in. So that was the problem is that uh, it's gonna rub if you are going to get the Dawson Precision Magwells, stick with the Dawson Precision uh, base plates that, that you can buy. Um, the only reason I didn't buy more of these was because they were out of stock. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'm not going to you know, go over the guns any further other than um, the fact that it has the aftermarket and otherwise completely stock. Uh, I've got videos on both of them. I do find, uh, if I had to choose, I do find that I am shooting the 19 better. The numbers may say that there was a slight time advantage on this 17. Uh, that might be because of the bright fiber optic green front sights. However, if I was to choose one, it would definitely be the 19. I'm finding that the 19 is just really easier to control. Um, it's more pointable. And to be honest, I'm actually preferring these three uh tritium night sights that the gun comes with normally i'm a bigger fan of blacked out rears and front fiber optic but for some reason with this gun i'm just shooting a lot more accurate uh, i will say that the times with this um i did have a higher hit factor with this one meaning i was hitting the gong more so the times were about the same but i was getting more hits with this than with the 17. Uh, i don't know what it was but I'm finding that from the low ready, I would come up and I would have either a slight delay where I had to find it or if I forced it, I would have the first shot would miss. So a lot of my misses with this gun were on the first shot and it was at presentation. So I mean, maybe it could be the beaver tail. I, I don't know. Uh, the angles are supposed to be the same, but I, I'm, I'm putting it down to the sights and I was just presenting and finding it really difficult to get a first shot hit as fast as I could. Whereas with this one, I didn't even have to think about it. It was just straight up and bang, I was on target. And uh, really enjoying this one a lot. Um, so, you know, if uh, if you're choosing between the two, me personally, uh, if you can live without the MOS, the MOS adapter, I would say go with the 17, uh, sorry, the 19 or 19X. Um, really enjoying it. it. It just seems to fit me a little bit better and work a little bit better. And I've mentioned this before, and I, again, this might be placebo effect or just in my head. I do find that this trigger, it just feels a little bit better to me. And, and I don't know, I don't know if there is a difference or what, but anyways, guys, let me know if you have any questions. I've been uh, trying to keep up on the comment section and uh, I've been trying to answer everyone as much as I can, seeing as I only have, you know, 300 subscribers, I'm at the, the point where where I'm able to do that. So let me know if you have any questions and if not, have a great happy new year and uh, stay safe and stay, uh, stay COVID free. Thanks guys. GoPro stop recording.